Hey guys. Um, so while I extract this uh, executable real quick, um, I'm going to give you a little bit of my own personal musings, uh, just to cover up the fact that I'm loading a file. Uh, I have determined that there is a cool way, to, cool way to start eating a carrot, but there is no cool way to finish eating a carrot. So that is something I realized this morning. <laughs> um, anyway, this should be done in a sec. Uh, Sorry for the wait. Uh, we were working on another build because there was some work committed really late last night. No, it wasn't. I was just not. I was, at a, I was at a concert. So. It, no, it, was, <laughs> <laughs> it was late last night because I did this build at like 10 o'clock and it wasn't committed then. Fair um, it, was, it was late. Um, anyway, so we were trying to get it in so we could show some of the work that the online programmers did, but due to the time difference or the time issue, we are not having it finished by the time for this presentation. So this is going to be some, I don't want to say just going to be some design work, because it is some pretty extensive design work. But uh, that's mostly what we're going to be showing for this build. I can go over what they did, though. Yeah. Um, yeah, so the uh, two online programmers, they got, uh, I gave one of them AI, the beginnings of the AI system for the enemies. Um, and he got in a really cool state machine where they can protect places, they can attack specific points. They don't just storm the place, although they can storm the place still. Um, and they'll retreat if uh, certain situations. It's all basically just states at this point, but uh, once we implement the objective system, they'll, it'll be a lot more dynamic. The other programmer um, started the beginnings of the building construction uh, feature that we're having, where an engineer can be clicked on. Uh, they can enter a building mode, and then they, you can, the player can select like a specific building or an item. And uh, they can build it um, at a specific place. So uh, he got that in. Um, control. Now we're going to work on visuals and stuff. So yeah. Is that the volume control? It must be the volume control. Either turn it up really loud or really quiet. So we're going to find out in a sec. It's an adventure, guys. Um, just these levels on the level select. We actually have another level that is currently being worked on, but it's a secret, so it'll come in later. Um, we're excited. Uh, so I'm going to show Passchendaele because last time I did the build review, people got on my case about not showing enough of the good part of Passchendaele. So I'm going to try and show the best parts of Passchendaele because it is a really impressive level when you know where to look. Um, because there's been a lot of work on this. So I mean, you look at these trenches, these gorgeous, gorgeous trenches. Um, Jake actually, Jake who's been working on this level, uh, went in, yeah, the, I don't know why the UI messed up. Uh, I screwed that up. Oh. <laughs> okay. So now we know why. Um, but if you look at, we actually, the trench supports have been redone, uh, courtesy of Jake, which we really appreciate. It's uh, made a lot of the levels look a lot nicer. It's things like we have curved trench supports now, which conform better with the uh, shape of the terrain. Adds for more. This little di dancing in place. Um, and just a lot of work being done. Let's go back to the level select and see what other levels we can look at. What? Uh, yeah, well, that's, uh, I was going to put that in test level. I'm going to test level, show that off. So we have a new drag select. Um, it's laggy a little bit right now, but uh, it'll calm down in a sec. This is what the new drag select looks like. It's not fully functional at the moment, but yes. it is. Being read, it is being worked on. That's why the UI was screwed up. Uh, we're currently working on the new drag select. It's not halfway implemented, um, but it, it's going to be there by the end of the week. So. Um, we also have stuff like I'll just talk about it over this. Um, we also have things like uh, planes are working on being or dropping bombs, which is a new plane functionality, which means that planes are more than just recon, which is good because fog of war is still a work in progress. Um, that was the main purpose for the planes. Uh, we're also talking about implementing mustard gas drops and launches, uh, some more explosion stuff, actually. There's one level in particular that shows a lot of explosions. Let's go to Bellawood. Ignore, excuse the trees. Um, <laughs> tree assets are a work in progress. Um, trees have been a scourge on this project. Um, 
But if you look over, we have some really nice particle effects that go off at random times. Um, they will do damage to players as they pass by. Um, really pretty particle effects. Uh, and Bella Woods looking really nice as well. Uh, this is courtesy of Tony and Tony. Um, or mostly Tony. Mostly Tony. <laughs> um, and that's pretty much what we have to show for today. Oh, and uh, finally, also, we're working on it. There's, uh, with the construction, uh, they're going to be added line of sights. If you're going to drop, like, a howitzer or a tank, so they have, like, line of sights that you can see where they can see and where they can shoot, so you can be more strategic with placing certain things like howitzers and buildings and stuff. So, yeah. Tyler's working on that. That's going to be really awesome. So, that's our progress for the week. <clears throat>